Yeah, so optimization in a campaign is, is again, very, very important because you need to define what success looks like on the upfront. There's been a lot of occasions where I've seen a campaign go very, very well and the metrics have been hit, but then at the end, there's sometimes issues because you haven't actually defined what the success parameters are on the upfront. So what we can do is we can optimize pre-campaign, post and during campaign and post-campaign in order to deliver what those success metrics are. A good example is clicks and awareness versus sales lift. So clicks and awareness is usually used more for say a brand campaign or a national campaign where you have maybe a product launch. You need more people to know about this product because it's new and so you need to cast the net very wide. So you need to up your impression count to multiple millions because you know if you're targeting Walmart, it could be 4,500 stores and that's a lot of impressions that you need to do that. The optimization there would be target a wider net of people who you think are the right shoppers and cast the net. With sales lift, it's very different. You need to be more targeted. You need to understand which stores are best performing from a sales standpoint. You need to optimize your media towards those stores in order to generate the best possible uplift in sales. You measure that by comparing previous time periods versus the current media flight period in order to see what uplift there has been for that particular product and the impact on subsequent products in that brand range. So it's very important to understand how you define that success and optimize towards what the definition of that is. And that's very important when you're dealing with clients and also understanding your shopper. The final aspect of that is a ROAS model. So that's slightly different to sales lift because you now need to define what is return on ad spend. And what that is, is you're essentially trying to show that the money you've invested for that media program is returning a dollar value. And again, that is different to sales lift. So it's a good time to be in marketing because there are so many things we can optimize and track against. But at the same time, if you don't define what that is on the upfront, then you're not setting yourself up for success on the front end. So it's something that I've seen kind of be an issue in the market as a whole. And it's something that I always try and make sure that we're uh, avoiding as at the earlier stages.